Hi, this video is the first part in a series introducing LaTeX for math teachers. In part one, you will learn how LaTeX is constructed and how to build complex expressions and equations using LaTeX. LaTeX is a common document markup language written in tech that helps us write beautiful equations. Why LaTeX? Sometimes it's quicker and easier than an equation editor, or an equation editor is not available. Simple equations and expressions can be typed directly. Spacing is automatic. Typing a space in the code will not change the spacing in the result. What is the syntax of LaTeX code? The backslash in the code precedes special commands indicating math operations or structures. The curly brackets enclose the parts of the operation and structures. In the case of fractions, there are two sets of curly brackets. One set surrounds the numerator and the second set surrounds the denominator. Many special math operations can be nested in a single line of code in order to create the expression you desire. Let's get started. The code indicating a fraction is to be constructed backslash frac the numerator is indicated in the first set of curly brackets as a 3. The denominator is indicated by the second curly bracket set, and that is 4. As you can see on the right, the printed result is 3 fourths. This is the code indicating the construction of a square root. As you can see inside the curly brackets, 27 is the number that's going to be underneath the radical. In this case, I have an equation, and there is no co special code that is required. Only a caret is needed for indicating exponents. This is very similar to Excel or Google Sheets. Commands for roots other than square roots still have the square root as the base. Seems a little strange, but you get used to it. The difference is that the brackets are added containing the proper root. In number one, example, square root with three in the bracket, that's a cube root, but 27 is still in the curly brackets, indicating what should go underneath the radical sign. And here I have the fourth root and the fifth root, but you can have whatever you want there. There isn't a special division symbol command, but you can create long division using this code. This code was modified by an article that I found in Stack Exchange. In this case, you want to write everything exactly as you see here, except replace my divisor of 3 with yours and my dividend of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with yours. There are some commands, as we see here, for division, multiplication, that don't require the curly brackets. All you need to do is to indicate in order, left to right, the numbers that you will be using and backslash div, backslash times. Note here down below, if you want 3x, where x is a variable, you can just write 3x. And notice on the right hand side that the x and the multiplication symbol look very different. That is an advantage to LaTeX. LaTeX code can be nested for complex expressions. Take a look here and notice that the code for the square root is the outermost code. Now the fraction code is the code that's inside the square root brackets. So this indicates that there will be a fraction underneath the radical sign. As you go into the fraction, 9 is your numerator, 16 is your denominator. Notice the negative sign. The negative sign is to the far left of the um, backslash. In that case, the negative sign would not enter into the radical sign. Now let's take a look at the same type of expression in reverse. In this case, I have the fraction as the outermost function, and the square root sign is wholly within the numerator. 
So the square root of 9 is my numerator, and 16 is my denominator. And notice that the negative sign is far left, so it's not inside the fraction. If I wanted that negative sign, if I wanted to show a negative square root of 9, I would need to place the negative sign just to the left, if you can see my cursor here, of the backslash for the square root. Thank you for watching this video. I will prepare future videos on using LaTeX as part of Google Apps for Education. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate a like or you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.